Hey basketball players, today we are going to be breaking down Marcus Howard and his shooting form. He is a four-year player out of Marquette and he is going to be one of the top picks, in my opinion, in this year's NBA draft. He currently, in his last year at Marquette, shot 10 three-point shots per game, hitting 41.2% of those shots. He has a very good shot, and I hope that you can learn how to shoot a little bit better from this video. So first, what we have here is Marcus Howard in a training session. From there, let's break down his shooting form. So first off, in the drill that he is running, it's a little bit of a crossover drill into a set shot. Now, what do we see from this shot? Well, number one, a lot of his shots, even when you look at his in-game footage, is off of a jump stop. Now, this is great because it's going to give you a lot of power from your shot, but also settles your body down from drifting from left to right, forwards and backwards. But we also see that his shoulders... Knees and toes are all in line. If we had a sideways view, you would see that. From there, we see that he picks up the ball from any direction, whether he's coming off of a pass or a dribble. He has the ball in front of his hips, and then he lifts up. He's on his toes, which is fantastic. It's going to give him a faster release. And then his knees barely come together. That is something that a lot of players do have happen to them and they find that they get more power. But Marcus Howard is a very strong player. He is a also a four-year player, so he's going to be a very strong impact player to whichever team drafts him. I'm saying right now hopefully the Raptors get him, but I doubt that's going to happen. But when he brings up the ball, goes up the middle of his body... And then when he goes up to his set point, it's right in the middle of his forehead and his elbow is not underneath that ball. Now we also notice when he brings up that ball, his elbow is out from the ball. The ball almost comes up the left side of his body. Now there's a few players who I have seen in my past playing experience who can shoot the ball extremely well by bringing the ball up on the left side and then bringing it over towards the left side. However, this is something that does take a longer time and does add an extra hitch into your shot where if there's any kind of momentum in your body could mess up that shot. However, he does shoot at 41%, so that could be something that you could fix if you were Marcus Howard. However, at 41%, I'm not going to be complaining all that much. From there, after at his set point, what do we see? His wrist is bent all the way back. He has his off hand on the left side of the ball, and it sort of is not necessarily on top of his forehead in the middle, but more over the left eye. We also notice that his left shoulder is farther back than his right shoulder and same as his hips. However, that right foot, when we come back down, is pretty well facing that rim. From there, once he goes up for his shot, we do notice that he does have a thumb flick on the off hand. Now, what does this do for him? Now, when we look at players like Kyrie Irving and Steph Curry, they actually shoot a lot of the time with their elbow out from the ball, which then pushes the ball out this way. However, with that thumb flick, it actually helps to direct that ball straight. And because of that, that ball is a very accurate shot. And then when he releases that ball, we do notice from another clip that I am going to show you in a few minutes that it comes off of his middle finger and his ring finger. So it's going to be coming off of that finger there as well as the middle finger. Now what does that do for us? Well considering that his elbow is out, he's shooting from on top if not the left side of his forehead, he's pushing the ball this way with his thumb. By having the ball go off of the ring finger as well as the middle finger, that's going to straighten out that shot so that it goes straight towards the rim. We have to remember that not everyone's shot is the exact same. Not everyone can shoot like Clay Thompson. However, 
little small things like a thumb flick going off of those two fingers are going to help you shoot the ball straighter if you have the elbow out. These are some of the things that may be able to help players like Lamello and Lonzo Ball shoot the basketball. Now in this other clip we actually notice in this hand if we can zoom in just a bit when he shoots that ball between frames his hand actually goes sideways. Now this is not something that I notice in every single clip but this is something that happens about 50% of the time from what I can see that when he shoots, he flicks his pinky downwards so that now that even adds a little bit more straightness to the ball considering that his elbow is out on that shot and his arm is across his forehead. Now from this behind clip, we really actually do get to see how much effort that left thumb does have when it comes to shooting that basketball. Now I don't suggest everybody to shoot with a thumb flick, however at the same time this is something that can and does help a lot of players be able to shoot the basketball accurately. Now from this clip we can zoom in and check out that shooting hand and from there we actually do see the middle finger and ring finger flicking that ball last. Now the really nice thing that we do see from this clip is when he shoots that elbow is forehead height you want to have your shooting elbow at forehead height or higher and you want to see that gooseneck on that wrist and then you want to see it follow through all the way to the rim now he does drop his arms like I do early before the ball hits that rim however again that's a perfect swish and he shoots 41 percent of the time that it goes in, which is fantastic. Marcus Howard is going to be a fantastic player in the NBA. I think he's going to be a very highly impactful player in his first year. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has helped you shoot the basketball better. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time.